Today we are going to go through some of the mistakes that you usually make when we are consuming lemon. And uh, this usually prevents us from getting the full benefit. And also we are going to go through how you can be able to go around those mistakes and get the full benefits that you have talked about. First of all, lemon usually come from the citrus family and they are all known for providing us with vitamin C. It is very essential in the body. And actually, let's go through some of the benefits we get from consuming lemon so that we get to know what we are missing out on when we make those mistakes. Now the first one is prevention of the kidney stones or reduction of the kidney stones. 80% of the composition of the kidney stones is made up of calcium oxalate and calcium phosphates. Now, lemon will give you citric acid and citric acid leads to degradation of those kidney stones and also prevent their formation. Meaning that a regular intake of lemon water will provide you with a citric acid that will help in making sure that either the stones that you already have are degrading meaning that they are being dissolved slowly because of the calcium and also if you don't have them it's preventing you from getting them. A deficiency in vitamin C will give you a condition we call scurvy and a scurvy will give symptoms like a bleeding gums, easily breathing of your skin and sometimes even loose teeth. Now when it comes to bleeding of your gums and also breathing of your skin or under your skin will come by because of uh, a protein that we call collagen. During the manufacture or creation of collagen in the body, vitamin C is very essential. It's one of the components. It gives rise to a very good uh, structured uh, collagen. Now, when that is missing, it means that uh, now the blood vessels, the walls of the blood vessels, your skin, the structure will be compromised and that's why it will be very easy to bruise because now when you apply very low pressure on uh, those blood cells, maybe the capillaries under your skin, you're going to break them because of their compromised structure. The collagen is not as good. Now the same case happens to the blood vessels in your gum and this is what leads to bleeding when you're brushing off your teeth. To fix this, make sure your intake of vitamin C is higher either in diet or in supplements to compensate for the lack of vitamin C in your body. And this is going to fix all those issues that are related to scurvy. Now I'm sure you have seen people when they have cold or they have um, their protein producing mucus due to either infection by a virus, a respiratory virus, or something like rhinitis. This is a hypersensitivity. I'm sure you've seen them either take a lemon, just take it raw, or maybe take it in water. It usually helps relieve that because it has an antihistamine effect. And that's why when you take lemon, it usually relieves you from those symptoms. Now, when you go to the lemon pills, when you press them, they usually produce um, an essential oil that has something that we call remonin. Now, this remonin is um, usually goes to around 43% 40, of the composition. This remonin is very good at um, the antifungal activities, meaning something like candida albicans or other fungal elements will be in inhibited or they be kept in check by just taking lemon. Now. When you want to benefit from this, always make sure that you incorporate the pills in whatever you're taking. If you're taking your lemon, make sure you also even take the pills. Instead of taking just the liquid parts that is usually squeezed out of lemons, you can blend the whole thing and then maybe uh, you mix with other fruits and uh, make a smoothie out of it or just take it as is so long as you dilute. And you're going to see why you should dilute your lemon right along in the video. Without going into much details, you know that uh, vitamin C helps in absorption of iron in the body. And iron is very important when it comes to the quality of hemoglobin in your blood. That will usually make your blood to look red. So it's very important also in transportation of uh, oxygen and uh, removal of carbon dioxide from your body. So making sure that you have a good supply of vitamin C will make sure that you also have healthy red blood cells and also improved aeration of your body. Now these are some of the mistakes that people usually do when they are taking lemon that prevent them from uh, getting the full benefits of uh, taking that lemon or they end up having the negative effects. Now. The first one is boiling lemon or taking lemon in a hot boiling water. When you do that, 
Remember, vitamin C is very, let's say, heat labile. It's very delicate. So when you boil lemon, you're not going to benefit from vitamin C, which is the main aim of us taking that lemon in the first place. What I would advise you to is always make sure that when you're doing that, just squeeze the water out of the lemon and let your water, just boil your water, then let it cool down. And now add your lemon there, your lemon water and uh, you're going to benefit from the vitamin C. Now, if you are making lemon tea, now instead of boiling that lemon in there, what you should do, just let the tea cool down first, and then you add that lemon. And trust me, you're going to feel the difference. First of all, just take your tea and uh, boil everything. Just put lemon there and boil it. And then uh, prepare another tea, uh, but this time let it cool down first and then you add the, the lemon in there and you're going to feel the difference between the two. Now you're going to benefit more by letting your tea cool down and then adding that lemon than just boiling the whole thing. Now another mistake that people usually do is by taking that uh, lemon raw, just directly without doing anything to it or just taking the concentrated uh, lemon without diluting it. Now, that will have negative effects on your teeth because now you are exposing your teeth. The composition of enamel of your teeth is uh, calcium, phosphorus, and other micronutrients. Now, the main focus here is the calcium and phosphorus. They are highly affected by acidity. And that's why when you take lemon, you eat a lot of them, let alone you're going to have sensitive teeth, and this is because of the action of the acids on your teeth. So a long exposure of your teeth to the acids will lead to either a weakening of your teeth or just getting um, uh, cavities in your teeth because it's going to dissolve the calcium in your teeth and are now compromising the structure. What I would advise you to do, first of all, if you're taking concentrated lemon water, um, just use a straw so that you minimize the exposure of your teeth to that acid. Or you can just go ahead and dilute it. Or you can just mix it with other fruits that you're taking and blend them together. The final mistake is uh, taking that lemon when uh, you have stomach issues, like for example gastritis or having ulcers in your stomach. When you do that, you're going to make the already bad uh, situation worse because of the effects of that um, that lemon in you. So try as much as possible to avoid this and any other acidic food because it's going to make uh, your um, situation worse. Now, in case I've left some of the benefits you usually get from lemon, uh, you can just tell us in the comment down there. Now, thank you for watching the video all the way up to this point. See you in the next one.